Let's take a look at the first public release of Vim. So this was actually built on 1991, but it was released on 1992 with the Fred Fish floppies. So uh, the Fred Fish floppies were actually bundles of useful Amiga programs, which uh, were released. And uh, Vim was included in one of them. And this is actually the version from that floppy. You can find it online. So uh, the first version was actually exclusively for Amiga. So this is an emulator. And uh, we can see that um, a couple of the commands work here. So you can just move with J and K, use W and B. Uh, and it inclu included new features which didn't exist in VI. For example, you can do multiple undo. So if I'm going to write here, hello, and then I'm going to write world, and then let's write another thing like world hello. See, I can run U, and I can run U again. It's going to delete both. It's not going to go back and forth like in VI. Another new feature here is, for example, uh, you can use the star. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the first line. I'm going to go to hello here, for example. I'm going to use star. And it's going to jump to the next hello. This is also new. And here is a cool thing. You can run version. And you can see it says VI imitation. You can see also the build, which is 1991. And the person, Bram Mullinar, which is the creator of Vim. And uh, today, it, you, uh, you probably know that it's called VI Improved, but the original name was actually VI Imitation, so that's cool. So I'll put a little explanation in the description of how to get this set up. And if you guys want, let me know in the comments and I'll make a full setup video. Thanks for watching.